Hey everybody, so this is going to be a first impressions from Physicians Formula. This is the Super CC Plus Cream. So I'm going to try this out. I have this shade Light Medium. It actually came in this kit here. There were three products. So there's the CC Cream, then there's the Super CC Color Correction and Care Concealer. So I'll try that out too. It also came with a powder. I swatched some of these and I don't know if the shades are quite right for me, so I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit off. This is the Super CC Color Correction and Care Powder in Light Medium. So yeah, I'm just going to try them out. First of all, from the website, it says, The first ever CC Plus Cream visibly transforms your complexion with color correcting pigments that instantly help correct uneven skin tone, imperfections, discoloration, and visible signs of aging. Color Correct and Care Makeup effortlessly blends your natural tone to camouflage imperfections. It says it retails here for $14.99, so I'm just going to go ahead and try it out. I'm going to use my fingers to apply it because I find that usually works best with BB and CC creams. Now, it's light medium, but I just don't know about this shade. I feel like it might be too, too pink tone. That's what it looks like there. It's definitely more of a thicker consistency. It's not running down my fingers. It's kind of staying where I put it. Let's see how it applies. It already feels quite thick on my fingers, so it's not one of those light ones. Yeah, I think I definitely could have got away with the light. In my mirror down here, it's looking too dark for me. It doesn't look too dark yet anyways on camera, maybe a little bit, but there's a lot of lights around here, so that might be why. But I definitely think I should have gotten light. But we're going to try it out anyways. I'm going to show you how it wears throughout the day, how it holds up. I already have my eye makeup on, if you haven't noticed. So, from rubbing that little bit on, it feels... I don't know if it's greasy or what, it just feels definitely thicker in consistency, which is not my favorite feeling on my skin. I don't want to feel a heavy product on my skin. I can't say for sure until I blend this out, but that's how it's feeling initially. I'm just going to blend it down my neck in an effort to try and make the color work out a little bit better. As far as coverage right off the bat, I mean it's pretty decent, it's a solid, it's a solid medium at this point. I've just kind of put a thin layer all over and it's definitely gone ahead and added a lot of color to my face and covered up, you know, the big imperfections. I do have a lot of breakouts happening around my chin area and it hasn't completely covered those up. I do have some like pigmentation issues on my cheeks, so it's not full coverage, but for a CC cream, it's pretty good. Coming in a bit closer, that's what it looks like there. Again, this is a pretty thin layer. Um, typically I'd try and add a little bit more on top and see if I can get a bit more coverage, but given the way it feels, I just I feel like it's a little bit thick and I don't want to add to that, so I'm going to leave it the way it is. Um, the finish at this point is dewy. I'm sure powder will take care of that. It's not incredibly dewy, but there's definitely a lot of shine happening. So yeah, I mean it's a decent coverage, decent coverage level, around a medium, but I'm not in love with the way it feels. So let's check out this concealer. That's what it looks like there, and it comes in one of those click up pens. Now, with this one, typically I'd put it, ooh, that comes out fast. I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. Typically I'd put this under my eyes, but I feel like, you know what, I'm going to try it anyways, but I feel like this is actually darker than the BB cream. Maybe it doesn't look, yeah, I don't know. Normally I'd want like a brightening shade under my eyes, and this is pretty much the same color as the CC cream. It was definitely very thin in consistency, however, blended in really nicely, and you almost can't detect it like it looks like it's not there at all, but that eye is done and that eye is not done. And I think it took away some of the darkness, but again, I'm just going to add a bit more to the back of my hand. There are no brightening properties in that. In this, that's for sure. So normally I'd go ahead and add a brightener on top of this, but I want to see how these products hold up on their own, so I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to add some here under my eyes. I'll put some down my nose like I do with typical concealer, a bit on my chin, 
see as you can see it's pretty much the same color as the um, actual CC cream. I'm going to add some to my zits too. I'm just going to blend this in a little bit more with my beauty blender. But as far as the consistency, that was a really nice concealer. Very lightweight, like undetectable on the skin. I just wish I had a lighter shade, so that's something I might check out in a lighter shade actually, depending on how it holds up throughout the day. Okay, jumping to the powder. I'll show you what it looks like. Again, the packaging, super cute. I love it. And then it's this multicolor looking powder with yellow, pink, and like a teal color in it, almost a green color. When I swatched this on my hand, it looked very pale, which is funny because the rest of the products were quite dark on me. So I'm just going to grab a bit on a big fluffy brush, kind of dust it off, and apply it. I'm trying to get it on that concealer too. Alright, that was a very light dusting, and can you see the shade of my face has been kind of white casted in a way, which is good because it was too dark to begin with, and I'll add some to my neck. But um, coming in close, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see on camera, but I can see the powder sitting on top of my skin, and it's kind of highlighting the little fine hairs that I have on my face as well. I'm so in love with the NARS powder, you guys know that, the crystal light reflecting powder that honestly nothing could compare but this to me just just looks like it added a, lo a level or a layer that I really didn't need so not a fan of it. It did take the dewiness of the CC cream almost completely away however so if you're looking for something really mattifying I think that would be great. As far as the, the uh, color correcting properties I don't know it just kind of made everything so white that yeah it did take away the red for sure because I do have red on my cheeks and I do look white all over now but it's not the kind of white that that I look for in products. I'm trying not to judge this too much right off the bat, but as you guys can tell, I don't have high hopes for it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my makeup and I'll check back in with you guys at the end of the day. It is currently 11.22 a.m. and I'll show you what it looks like at the end of the day. It is now 7.12 p.m. It's been at least eight hours and this is what the CC cream is currently looking like. So. I should know, I did get my eyebrows waxed, so around my eyebrow area and even right in here, um, it was waxed, so it was pulled off. But this entire region is pretty much completely gone. I'll zoom you in a bit. Yeah, you can see pretty much all this is gone. So you look at my mirror so I can see closer. Yeah, around my nose is gone. Um, and even up in like this area on my cheeks. The blush is somewhat there, but it's pretty much come off, and I can just see it's pretty much come off. As far as shine, I definitely have shine happening. My nose, this area here, my forehead, as I go back and forth, you can see the shine. So even with that, you know, in my opinion, pretty heavy duty powder, it definitely didn't take care of the shine. I didn't powder it all throughout the day, however. But it's just not meeting my standards at all. Let's take a look at the, um, Concealer, yeah. I'm coming real close so you guys can see. It's creased all underneath in my fine lines underneath my eyes. It's all creased and it's actually oxidized darker than my face. So this area here is darker than what's left on the rest of my face. So that's not a good look at all. It's like reverse what you should be doing. So not a fan of this CC cream or the concealer or the powder. I like the way that the concealer went on, but it just really it really didn't work out. So I'm sorry this is not a favorite. I will add this to my playlist of BB cream and CC creams if you want to check out more and see which ones are my favorite. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask and thank you so much for watching. Bye!